Number 28, in this figure a stone is projected at a cliff of height h with an initial speed of 42 meters per second directed at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal. The stone strikes at a, this point over here, 5.5 seconds after launching. Find letter a, the height h of the cliff, letter b, the speed of the stone just before impact at a, and letter c, the maximum height h reached above the ground, this point over here. So in this problem, we have a problem of constant acceleration because we only have the acceleration of gravity. And if the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to xo plus vo xt plus axt is squared over 2. I'm adding this x's small x's over here because we have two dimensions. We have the x dimension and the y dimension. So let's say that our x direction points to the right and our y direction points upwards. So this is the first equation that we can use, but this is only for the x direction, the horizontal direction. We also can use vx equal to vox times axt, and we can use vox squared equals to vox squared plus 2 times ax delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use, but only for the x direction. Now, I'm going to rewrite them for the y direction. So we have y equals to y o plus v o y t plus a y t squared over 2. We can also use v y equals to v o y plus a y t. And we can use v y squared equals to v o y squared plus 2 times a y delta y, right? So those are the set of equations that we can use. And the trick here, since you have six different equations here, so you probably don't know which one you should use. So the trick here is that you, you just circle the things that you don't know. For example, the initial position, XO, let's say this is the origin of our system. So XO and YO are zero, right? So it's easier this way. We know that we don't have acceleration in the x direction, the acceleration of gravity points downwards. So the ax goes away. And what else goes away? Let's see, for this moment, I think that's, that's it that goes away, just looking at that. So let's see what we have here. The, the time, t, t is equal to 5.5 seconds. So we know the value of t, right? The final position, x, so this distance over here. Do we know this distance over here? No, we don't. So we don't have this value over here. So we're going to mark it, circle it. The initial speed in the x direction, vox. Well, we know its initial speed and we know the angle. So just remember that we can decompose this speed into one x component and one y component v o y v o x is equal to v times the cosine of the angle and v o y is equal to v times the sine of the angle okay so we do know the value of v o x and v o y so we don't need to circle it so we know this value here and we don't know this value here because we don't know its final speed however it is the same so that's a simple equation and we know this value and we don't know this value so this value we don't know the, the, at this point a over here y would be equal to this small h over here so the initial speed in the y direction we do know as well the acceleration of gravity we know so the final speed in the y direction we don't know the initial one we know the acceleration of gravity we know t we know as well so this one we don't know we do know we do know we don't know okay so those are the equations and i just circle the things that we don't know so it's easier for you to see what we we have to use for example for letter a find the height h of the cliff 
So if I want to find the height, let's look at those equations and see which one have the height of the, 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 the cliff. And in this case, you can see that, that this equation over here, the only thing that we don't know in this equation is the height of the cliff. So if we just replace the, the values in this equation, we would find the answer of letter A. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to use this equation over here, plus V O Y T plus, plus A Y T squared over 2. Remember that this term goes away. So Y is equal to V times the sine of the angle times T, which is 5.5, plus the acceleration, which is negative, minus 9.8. And why it is negative? Because we choose that upwards is positive. So since the acceleration of gravity is points downwards, it should be negative times 5.5 squared over 2. And if you do this calculation over here, remember to replace this by 42 and sine of 6 degrees, which is square root of 3 over 2. And this gives you, let's see, this would give you 51.8 meters. So that's the answer of letter A. Letter B, the speed of the stone just before impact at A. Okay, so we want the speed. So we want the value of V, the final V, right? So let's say it's final V. But instead, what we can find using those equations are Vx and Vy. And how do we convert the, the components of the speed into this final speed? We just take the square root of each component squared. So that's what we have to do. So we just have to find Vx and Vy, and then we can calculate the final speed. Okay, so now it's really easy. So if we want Vx and Vy, which equations should we use? This equation over here and that equation over there, of course. So in this case, oh, sorry, this is squared, right? So Vx, it's the same as the initial speed in the x direction with this V cosine of the angle. So V times the cosine of the angle, this is squared, plus Vy, which is this equation over here, Voy is V times the sine of the angle, plus the acceleration of gravity, which is uh, nine, minus 9.8 times t, and this term over here is squared, okay? So I just have to replace the letter by the numbers, and then it would be 42 times the cosine of 6 degrees squared, plus 42 times the sine of 6 degrees minus 9.8 times 5.5 and you would find let's see 27.4 meters per second so that's the answer of letter b for letter c it's a little bit different because it asks you to find the maximum height age reached above the ground this point over here so this is a little bit different because t in this case is not 5.5 seconds anymore and is not half of that value because it would be half of the value if we if t would be at this point over here but it's not it is at this point so it's not half of the movement so one thing that we do know here is that the speed in the y direction it's zero in this case because the what is it? It's a stone. The stone is going up, 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 and it starts falling down. So at this point, exactly at that point, the speed in the y direction is equal to zero. So we are going to use this, let's see, this equation over here, because in this case, we do know the acceleration. It's the same. The gravity doesn't change. Now we know the final speed. And the only thing that we don't know is delta y. So we could find this big age over here. Right, so we're going to use this equation over here. Why we cannot use though that equation? Because t is not the same as before. It's not 5.5 seconds. Okay, so we are going to use this equation over here. V O Y squared plus 
2 times ay delta y and delta y in this case is h so that's what we have to find the final speed in the y direction it's zero as we just pointed out here so zero is equal to v o y squared plus two times a y h let's replace it by h so h is equal to minus v o y squared over two times a y so this is equal to v times the sine of the angle is squared divided by minus 2 times 9.8 so this is equal to 42 times the sine of 60 degrees squared divided by minus 18.6 is that correct uh, not really 19.6 19.6 okay so if you do this calculation this is plus right because we crossed this minus sign with that minus sign over there okay so if you do this calculation you would find 67.5 meters and that's the answer of this exercise